When I was a kid, I was afraid of the dark. Or maybe not the dark so much as what was lurking inside it. Because who was I to say that there wasn't a monster hiding in my closet? I mean, the nature of darkness is making it so we can't see, so when the lights went out, the presence of monsters became a real possibility. Now bear with me when I say I'm still afraid of the dark. I'm not still afraid of the monsters, but I guess they still play a part. Because the fear of the dark is really just the fear of the unknown, the not knowing what's to come, the not seeing things as whole. So when you say I walk in darkness, it's not just because I'm surrounded by scoundrels and thieves, but because I can't see. Street lamps don't light the path from you to me. I'm afraid of the dark because the future is such a scary thing. Not scary like a scary dream, but scary like a sight unseen. Scenes on the big screen are all preconceived. But I'd do anything to see where I'll be in a week. But life's not a movie. And we're not actors, we don't get to read the script and know the plot before it happens. So I ask you, are we all just predestined to a predetermined fate? Or can our cards be shuffled, make a change and say it's not too late? It'd be great if I could say I had the answer. But right now I'm just lost in the dark, searching for a spark to be chasing after. I'm afraid of the dark because I hate saying goodbye, like ending a good season in life, not always with a good reason why. When you're pushed to the edge of what you know and what you don't, and a voice says to jump even though you can't see below, it's called a leap of faith. But I don't want to take a leap of faith off this diving board. I don't even want to dip my toes in the pool. The water's cold and I am thriving, Lord. Here in my sphere of familiarity with my familiar sense of purpose and my familiar sense of clarity on how the world works, what hurts, and what's safe. So I hate to say goodbye because the dark can be such a lonely place. I'm afraid of the dark because I feel like it's always two feet in front of me and two feet behind me. I so easily get off course so I always need to be reminded that your life can be a game but you really should be careful because you're walking through a minefield though it might feel like a meadow where one wrong step could be deadly or leave you in pieces literal or metaphorical. It doesn't make a difference because either way we're broken and it shows. And if you've ever tried fixing something in the dark, then you'll know that it's hard. And we could really use a hand, a handyman carpenter who's equipped with the plans. So although we as a product may be disassembled, his blueprints resemble something much more eventful. And although darkness causes blindness, our future is bright if we stand beside ourselves and let the one who knows the way be our guide through this uncharted place. So yeah. The fear of the dark is really just the fear of the unknown. But you don't need a crystal ball to tell you life is full of highs and lows. Or read the writing on the wall to tell you trials in life, they come and go. What we need is to stop thinking that we're walking alone. Because who's afraid of the monsters when there's someone there to smash them? Who's afraid to take that leap when they know that someone's there to catch them? Who's afraid to say goodbye when they know that someone always loves them? And who's afraid of the dark when there's always a light shining above them? <laughs>